What is going on everybody? It's your boy Anthony, Long Island Fish Guy here. And on today's video, we're going to be doing an Around the Island update. We've got some pretty crazy updates here in this fish room and we got a lot to cover. Why? Because if you're one of my subscribers, you know I haven't made a video in quite some time. But there's a reason for that. The reason is because, because if you're also following along with my channel, that I recently just became a father. My last video was before that time. Um, I posted up on Instagram about it. I posted on my channel a community tab about it. Um, I'm a father now and it's been taking up a lot of my time. Uh, I just recently went back to work as well. Um, so I've definitely spread out a little bit thin right now. So I've really just been kind of getting back into normal life or the new type of normal life with having a child, getting back into work. But now we're back. We're going to be posting content regularly once again, which I'm obviously super excited about. The channel has been growing, guys. I've, I've kind of put the pause on creating new content, but the channel still has been growing. There's tons of comments just pouring in, and I'm not even get, I'm getting comments like every day like it's a text message. I can't even keep up with all these comments anymore. So keep those comments coming. I love seeing them. I love interacting with you guys, and I definitely do appreciate the love that you guys have been spreading out for me. But let's get into the main part of this video. So, you guys saw one of my last videos or so that I moved the 75 gallon aquarium, Holmes George the Oscar, and the pike over there. Check out the tank, boys and girls. The 125 is now in this fish room. I didn't shoot a video of it. It was kind of a hectic day. It was about two months ago, actually, I moved it down here. And things were moving pretty smoothly until we added something. We added a freshwater stingray, check it out. And real quick guys, before we actually get into the Around the Island update, we're getting that monster aquarium very soon. My goal is to get it uh, by the end of the year. Um, so fingers crossed I'll be able to get my hands on that large aquarium soon. So for now, this is gonna be the current setup. We're gonna be moving around a couple more things. Um, probably tanks, shutting down tanks, which you'll see as you watch the video. Um, I shut down some tanks, uh, built some new tanks up. Um, and we're probably going to be removing and adding a few more tanks as well. But let's hop into the Around the Island update, specifically this new 125 gallon Stingray Aquarium. If you guys do like this video, be sure to like the video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel already, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any other content like this. We added this guy or this girl right here. That is a mini Marble Matoro female. Uh, we added her to this aquarium and I loved her so much. I really loved her so much. And she was really excellent, really great, displaying really great behavior. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get another Stingray. And it's not this one. I got a, a Black Diamond Mini Marble Mortoro Hybrid. And I added it directly to this aquarium. Now I didn't know exactly where it came from. I was a friend of a friend. And all of a sudden, I started having some issues inside this tank. And I actually developed velvet in this aquarium. My 125 gallon aquarium, which is basically my show tank, got velvet because I couldn't have, I didn't have a big enough tank at the time to actually quarantine stingrays. So I needed to add them directly into here. Again, I wasn't sure of the source. So I, when I added it directly in here, some of the fish got sick. I'll put up on the screen here. These are all of the fish that I lost during that velvet outbreak. It was terrible, guys. And it was, worst of all, it was when I was in the hospital having the baby. So my dad actually had to come to my house to actually treat this aquarium. I'm gonna come out with a video on how to actually treat aquariums for velvet because when I was doing research on it, I really couldn't find that much, specifically on YouTube. And this is actually a more common problem than I think people actually have. So it's very similar to ick, but a little bit worse. So what happened was I lost a bunch of fish in here. This aquarium was looking super empty. After I actually uh, you know, beat the velvet um, and I knew it was safe in here, I added this Florida Gar from this aquarium, which by the way, I got some really great news about Florida Gar, so be tuned in for that. It's coming at about the center of this video. This Florida Gar moved into here. The Peacock Bass from my 36 gallon bow front as well. This Peacock Bass, that peacock bass and this peacock bass. These guys are pretty big. I mean, this guy is pretty huge. This guy is probably about six to seven inches. That guy right there is probably about six to five inches. And now this one, I actually think is an, a Calberry. 
a true either a true cow berry or 24 carat that's not because you could see the fins are a little bit different so i added some fish into this aquarium and then i told myself i love that black diamond hybrid it was a really great looking black diamond hybrid and this is a male pure black diamond stingray and so it's a female and a male as you guys can see they are loving each other there's they keep going on top of each other they're playing with each other like that they've been together now for about i don't know a month or so and things have been moving super smooth and super great they're eating pellets they're eating shrimp they're eating scallops they're eating tilapia they're eating so many different things i love these stingrays guys if you guys do remember from my channel i had steve the stingray a few years ago or a year ago and steve uh, ever since he passed you know there's been that emptiness i feel like in uh my hobby here um and not being in a, an apartment where i can't really have uh my big aquariums there these tanks are still at my parents house i couldn't really get any uh you know fresh war stingrays or any new big aquatic animals but now we can um and everyone's really just doing awesome now um now that the velvet is gone uh, i'm definitely going to be <laughs> emphasizing quarantine a lot more obviously and uh we're just gonna keep going on from there you know it's it's it sucks this aquarium this hobby definitely has its downfalls but it also has a lot of really cool and awesome stuff as well so guys that's gonna be it for these stingrays for right now i i don't know i definitely have to feature these guys a lot more on the channel now definitely need names steve had his name steve the stingray but we have the male black diamond and a female uh, Marble Matoro. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What do you think we should name these stingrays? Because they definitely deserve a name. All right, guys. Next up is the 75 gallon aquarium. It's a really super cool aquarium because once you come down these stairs and open this door, it's the first tank you see. And who are you welcomed by? By Georgie. George has been doing pretty awesome. Uh, I think that he really loves this home here. <laughs> he is just displaying such amazing colors. Back in my parents' house, he used to hit his head on the top of the glass. He'd always have problems on the top of his head. And he's just been thriving, thriving ever since this new scape. Not really that much going on other than this, guys. Uh, this tank is pretty, I don't know, not a lot going on. All right, guys, moving over to where the... 36 gallon bow front used to be. Uh, the 36 gallon bow front was here, but it really didn't have the best dimensions. So what I did was, is I broke that tank down and put a 40 gallon breeder in its spot. The main fish inside of this aquarium is again, your guys' favorite, this red wolf fish. Uh, this red wolf fish is displaying so much, like incredible different behavior. He's so much more active inside this aquarium. He's always having kind of territory wars with the Balzini uh, geophagus back there, or the Balzani geophagus back there. And it's really great to see him like this again because, you know, when he was in that little 29 gallon by himself and getting kind of big for it, you know, in the smaller aquariums, he really wasn't thriving the way he probably should. In this tank, he has a lot more room to, to, to really play around with. And he also has those little bit of territory wars, the geophagus as well. So definitely glad to see him kind of thriving in here. Well, uh, we also got a lot of different other fish in here. We got some fancy plecos. Uh, we have the true parrot cichlids. They're way in the back over there. A lot of the fish in here hide unless it's feeding time. Especially because of this wolf fish because, you know, he's got to crush some skulls. <laughs> Next up, we have this 20 gallon tank. And now I've been teasing for a while. This is something that happened a long time ago. Uh, this aquarium, I just set it up. It was kind of a brand new thing. I was kind of like, hey, you know, smash that like button. I'll show you what I put in here. Basically what happened was, is I had my tiger eel, my tiger moray eel with a my red eye puffer fish in this aquarium. And what happened was, is if you know tiger moray eels, they are like escape artists. And I always put a little bit of piece of duct tape over here um, to hold down the tank. And I even put duct tape in the back over here with the little spots. There's literally nowhere to escape but where the filter is. And what happened was with my Tiger Moray eel, um, I couldn't find him for a few days. And then I looked on the floor over here and he was there, dried up. 
So the Tiger Ray eel is no longer. I don't know if I'll ever replace that fish ever again just because it was so hard to ma like maintain and manage. And I've only heard terrible things with those fish in regards to keeping them inside the aquarium. So I don't wanna keep spending money on an expensive fish that's always gonna have these problems. In this aquarium, we have that little datanoid, we have the freshwater baleni, and then we also have a bunch of plecos. <laughs> a lot of plecos growing out. There is the sunshine pleco that we actually got from Pet Kiosk. Um, we also have the, mag mag uh, the mango pleco in here. We have the sultan pleco in here. We have a queen arabisk pleco in here. We got a lot of different plecos in here. They're all mainly gonna be growing out and then going into bigger tanks soon. Moving on, I don't typically cover quarantine tanks. You know, there's another quarantine tank down there, which I'm making a video about soon. But this is a quarantine tank and I do have to give a huge shout out to Pet Kiosk. Not because of these marble hoplo catfish that are out of focus, but because of these guys. This is a Florida gar. Um, I have three of these little Florida gar inside of this aquarium. And these guys are freaking awesome. Uh, I got these guys. They're probably slightly smaller than they currently are right now. Like there's my finger, like just for size. Have you guys ever seen Florida gar this small before? When I first bought them, I wasn't even sure what they are what they were but uh, the guys over at pet kiosk they hooked me up with these guys absolutely amazing these guys are already pellet trained don't ask me how but i offered pellets to these hoplo catfish and these guys started eating them so these guys are freaking putting on insane weight already they're growing like crazy there's three of them in here i can't wait to see their progress to see how these guys grow it's going to be so cool to watch these little tiny fish grow into huge monster fish. It's gonna be so dope. Last but not least, this is my 29 gallon tank. Below the, the 29 gallon tank is a 15 gallon. That was typically was not a quarantine tank, but it just got into a makeshift quarantine tank because all of the fish from the 15 gallon were put into this 29 gallon. Some of the fish that were in here also stayed in here as well, like my Mar Malaromo catfish. Um, there's also some fish in here from an unboxing video, which you guys are gonna see also in the next upcoming days. But nothing too crazy about this tank as well. Um, just kind of a bunch of miscellaneous fish in here um, that are really, you know, also these smaller uh, Balzani, like the Geophagus, they kind of were just undersized, uh, like those other ones in there. So I kept them. Also, th those Geophagus Balzani from the 40 gallon breeder were actually in here, um, if you guys remember from that video I had. But these fish are doing pretty awesome too. Like, uh, check out this Bolivian rim. Like, this fish was in my 15 gallon and didn't really get a lot of video time. I didn't even really look at it that often because it was so small in a little 15 gallon. But look at, check him out, man. Like, he is looking awesome. Like, this is like a fish you could go to PetSmart and go pick up, like, tomorrow. Like, it's a really dope looking fish. Also, have some smaller of the albino uh, marble hoplo catfish. Again, like all of my tanks, I got some fancy plecos in here that are growing out still. Um, a really a lot of fancy plecos in the aquarium. You know, got some cool uh, Siamese allergy eaters. This beardless barb, a lot of people, that's like a mystery barb. No one really knew what that was, but uh, I actually just got it recently, I did. And this Malaromo catfish is so cool too. He's gonna grow up to be a huge monster, so definitely can't wait to see that. So guys, this was my Around the Island update. I was really excited to kind of show you guys all the really great, awesome updates that this fish room has had. There's been so many different things that have been happening that I'm like, I gotta make a video about this. So it's definitely good to kind of get back into the swing of things and making this type of content for the channel. But that's gonna be it for this video. So if you did like this video, be sure to subscribe. Check out some of the other content here on my channel. Ding that notification bell if you already subscribed. Most importantly, don't forget to fish on.